What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. My name's Jeff and on today's episode we're going to be showing you guys uh, the basic steps needed to prep a concrete slab all the way up till it's time to get the truck on site and get the concrete in the form so stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So uh, today is going to be kind of a job site outside edition of the Concrete Edge and uh, this is really uh, going to be more of a basic Concrete 101 episode and so just to go over a couple basic tools that we're going to need uh, to form a, and prep a concrete slab, uh, one of the first things is going to be uh, just a couple really simple items like a string line, a tape measure, and some paint. And you know this is kind of how it all gets started because we're going to use the string to kind of lay out our shape. Uh, we're going to use the tape measure to make sure we're making it the right size and then we're uh, always going to you know paint our spots with our uh, marking paint that way we don't have to measure it again now a few other things that are really nice to have uh, would be a good uh, decent mini sledge or what i would call a stake hammer and these things come in different sizes uh, just find the one that's working the best for you i will say that trying to use a claw hammer to pound these stakes in uh, it's just not going to work very good so you need something just a little bit heavier now uh, this is also another thing that you know we highly recommend is some sort of a metal forming stake like this that actually has uh, nail holes in it uh, today we're going to be forming with uh, just two by lumber and this is going to be really really critical these things have holes uh, so we can put those in there now a few other things that are really nice to have you know again just a, a, a battery circular saw an impact that's going to help us cut our boards to the right length um, you know the impact's going to that's we're going to use screws to fasten through the holes and obviously a level is going to be key uh, to making sure that we're getting the concrete sloping right or uh, making it flat if you're trying to make it flat now for today's job this is uh, going to be pretty simple because we're just adding on to a spot in our parking lot here and we have two slabs that we're just going to butt right up against uh, so honestly this level and our string is all we're going to need uh, if you're setting this slab up kind of out on its own, a laser ret level can really come in handy because this is something that, you know, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you got a slab that's really critical to get that height just right, I would recommend going and renting a laser level for this because that's just going to help things out a ton. Now, additionally, uh, we definitely want to have a variety of different fasteners. Putting up two by four lumber like this, uh, you know, we could use nails if we wanted to. They would just need to be the double head nails. Uh, we're gonna use screws today, but as you can see in this box right here, we have a ton of different stuff in here. Anything from those double head nails uh, to tons of different kinds of screws. So just critical because you never know exactly what you're gonna need. So to get things started, we're gonna talk about subgrade a little bit. And the most important thing, no matter what, is we do not wanna just pour right on top of grass or any other kind of organic material. So we're gonna have to do some digging. Um, you know, even if we don't need to actually dig down, if our area is low enough, we still need to skim off the grass. Obviously for today's job, there's no grass here, it's all gravel. So we're just pushing it out of the way with a skid steer. Now, you know, if you are, again, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you have a large area that you need to prep, um, you certainly could do this um, with a sod cutter and a shovel if you want to, but going and renting a skid steer or having somebody come in and dig it out for you is gonna save a ton of time. So the idea would be that we're gonna dig down low enough uh, that we can get, you know, whatever the, the thickness of our concrete slab is, we wanna go at least another, you know, three inches below that so we can get, you know, three to four inches of gravel in there and then we'll have our concrete slab sitting on top of that. So once we have that all dug down where we want, um, now it's time to go ahead and set up our string line and you know again today's slab is going to be all square so you know we're just using straight two by uh, lumber if you were going to be uh, doing a radius slab this is going to be a little bit different and jason has a video on this a technique with a week episode that he takes you the whole thing so in this case you know i'm just going to set my string i can go right up to the slab i'm pouring up against and i just need to make sure i got the proper amount of fall once I got that string set, this is going to be my guide. Uh, you know, and today's slab is going to be five and a half inches thick, so we're using a two by six. So I'm just going to take my two by six and I'm going to hold it right up to that string line. And then I can go ahead and pound in my forming stakes because uh, that's what's going to hold everything together. Now, it's important when we're driving these stakes that we try to drive them nice and straight, um, you know, either direction, whether it's in and out or back and forth. Either way, you know, as I pick this form up, you can see that if my stake isn't straight, um, it's gonna throw off my, my shape here. So just drive these guys in nice and straight, and then I can just pick this two by six right up to it. I'm gonna fasten it with a little screw here. You could use a nail if you wanted to. 
And you know, when we get to the end, we're just gonna, you know, it's nice just to let this thing run past just a little bit. And then we're gonna come right up to it the other side and we're gonna make a nice square corner there. And you know, once we have that all done, that's pretty much it. These stakes are in there nice and solid. Everything's holding good. And at this point we can go ahead and take our string line down and get our fill in here. And uh, today we're using 57 limestone fill, but you know, depending on where you're at in the country, just some sort of gravel fill is gonna be key. Now, as we're filling here, you can see we're raking it around a little bit. That's just gonna help us get it into place. But you know, once we get it to where it looks about right, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this same string line, the same one we used to set our, our uh, forms. We're gonna take that string line, stretch it across the slab, and now somebody can take a tape measure and measure down. And this is how we can check to see how much concrete is actually gonna go in here. And this is pretty key because if you don't do this, uh, you could end up with a slab that's too thin or you could end up uh, with a slab that's really deep and not have enough concrete or the amount that you figured. So once we have the, the fill in there, just like we want it, now we're gonna just take this plate compactor and we're gonna compact everything down uh, nice and tight. And this is important, you know, we don't want this stuff settling down over the years. We're gonna compact it now. That way our concrete can sit on there and we got a really, really good solid base. After we get everything compacted, now we can go ahead and start putting in our rebar. Today we're using number four rebar, uh, steel rebar, and uh, man, we do love steel rebar. And so we're gonna put this on a two foot grid. And you can also see that this slab's a little bit interesting because there's a hole uh, in the side of these other slabs because when we pour these, we're expecting to pour onto them. And so what we do is, is we use what's called a speed dial and this just leaves a void in there so we can stick our rebar in there and tie the slabs together. Uh, if you're going up against a slab that didn't have one of these speed dials in, we could always take a hammer drill and just drill that in. So now that we got our rebar all set in place, we're just gonna use these little wire ties and tie everything together. Uh, this is gonna help every, our whole mat stay together. So we can tie every intersection. That way when we pull this thing up, we don't have any bars that are sinking down lower than others. And after the rebar is all in there, uh, man, this slab is looking pretty good and ready to pour. We just need to do one more thing because this is an 18 by 18 slab. So it's gonna be too wide, uh, you know, for our screed board. So we're gonna have to set this stake. And I like to set this right in the middle in this case. And we're gonna go back to that same string line that we use to set the forms and check the grade. And we're gonna use that. We're just gonna pound one of these little uh, cutoffs of this number four rebar down in there. And this is gonna be what we're gonna screed to once we start pouring. Well guys, that's pretty much it for this week's show. Hopefully this helped you guys out. You know, if you're new to concrete, uh, you know, this are all the steps we need to take to get a slab ready to pour. And this thing is, it's ready to go now. Everything, we just need a concrete chuck to show up, dump our concrete in here. And if you guys are looking for any other videos on pouring concrete, decorative concrete, uh, we put out new videos every Friday, so please uh, give the channel a like and subscribe. And man, I want to say to all you guys out there who constantly tune in every week and are always hitting like the like buttons, all you subscribers, man, that means the world to us. Uh, we're going to keep slamming out these videos as long as you guys are still watching them. So if we missed anything in this video, please uh, let us know. You know, it's hard to pack every little detail into a video of this length. So let us know in the comments right below if you have any questions or anything to add to this. From all of us here at Deco Crete TV, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.